Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy Golf and welcome to another of our What's in the Bags. This gentleman may have already been seen on channel, not sure yet how we're editing these, John. Um, but if not, this is John Griffiths. Hello. John Griffiths is a member at Radnor Golf Club. You'll know Radnor because we've done it a lot on the channel. Matt Tutnett, my old coach, is still uh, what, a very close person there. He's, um, was he course manager now or something? He's course director of golf? Course, yeah, course manager, course director. Yeah. Um, something like that. I'm not quite sure. It all sort of, it's all changed a bit since lockdown. And, uh, exactly, and COVID, everything's moved it's around. All gone a bit, it's all gone a bit all over the place. He's got a so. big name, I know he has in it. Yeah. So uh, obviously I'll still be going popping down there and seeing Matt from time to time, maybe on the channel, maybe not. But John is a member there. Um, Radner is a great par three course, super tough par three course. Very uh, tough. 18 tees, nine holes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are actually though, we are at, Penwith Pitch and Putt. We've been doing a course vlog of Penwith Pitch and, pitch and Putt. I just about to say it. Penwith Pitch yeah, and Putt. It is, it is a, it's a tongue twister. It is, isn't it? <laughs> and it's very early in the morning. Yeah. Um, because I made a decision, obviously you now all the Buccaneers do different things on the channel. Um, John, because of various time restraints and things, obviously he lives quite local to me, and also the fact that he uh, is a member of a par three course, we're going to make John a bit of a specialist of par three courses on our channel as John would have thrown on the videos we've done today we're filming this after we've done the course yeah not always good specialist doesn't mean expert no it means <laughs> it means someone who uses a lot of par three courses a lot of short game courses and pitch and putts with your family and your friends yeah and uh, so quite nice to have someone who is a bit more knowledgeable of those kind of places not always yeah. the big courses on this channel do love a pitch and putt yeah it's great i've had a great time today you yeah. really did hopefully you'll see the videos and if you haven't seen them yet they'll be out soon if you haven't seen them yet and they are out soon i'll put a link up where i normally put stuff up here somewhere down okay. there up yeah there. so john's got, john is now one of the buccaneers we've had a few new influx of buccaneers wayne do is now one and then obviously you are as well right. so uh we're gonna do a what's in the bag and explain more of what you do and everything else yep so john start off with your bag and obviously you can discuss about yourself as well as we go right yep well hello um one thing one thing i didn't bring up and i sh i should bring up a lot of people say a lot of people plenty of people know me not by my name as john yep. a lot of people know me as badger badger that's so right yeah, you yeah. may you may find at various courses that if the holler of badger goes out it doesn't necessarily mean they've seen a small furry animal they might recognize me so there we go now, before um, john starts we went behind this hedge because we thought we'd not get the noise from the greenkeeper people as always yeah but we have well so uh, we'll just have to move closer john and you speak up mate all right yeah. start i'll start i'll start from the small yeah start with the and small. go up um That's nothing to do with your stature john no of course not you're compact. It's just a very tall bag. Yeah, we have a little Steve. You can't have a little John as well. No, exactly, Steve, no. no. So uh, there we go. Odyssey, two ball putter. Very nice. Bit of a classic they've become now. They are a classic, but I got this very cheap off eBay. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I used, I tried loads of different putters, and I have to say, really impressed with this. For lining up the two balls, yeah, it's one so of those simple, concepts that just really works. Really it's simple. Works. No one would thought about it before. Really like it. The length is about right as well, and I've got the fatter, fat not grip. the super fat. No, but, but still this a fat middle grip. one. Yeah, uh, it just kind of suits my grip and everything else. So, yeah, it's uh, one of my best eBay bargains I've had. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the putter. And well, whilst John's sorting this out, uh, some of his game today was a bit iffy. We're having a bit of fun on the course today, learning a few things. John's trying out a few new uh, different clubs and different balls as well as part of the experiment of pitch and putt. Yeah. Um, but you have done a favourite hole, which you played really yes. well as well, which yes. that may have gone on the channel by now as well. Yeah. But that was superb at Radnor. Yeah. Well, so was... you're a good player, John. You are, um, what are you, 20 23 handicap. So that's kind of where yeah. I would like to be. That's why I like John. On, on a he, good day. Yeah, on a good day, but you know, <laughs> on, no on one's a bad day. is what they are on yeah. there. on a good it, day. It, it goes up a bit, but there we go. Okay. Um, so, right. putter, now putter, wedges, wedges. I guess. Right. Um, I'll go with this one first. 60 degree wedge. Okay. Old tailor made one. You're going to speak a bit more, John. We've got a car alarms going off now as well. <laughs> oh, my word. I don't know. Right. Can't write it. 
<laughs> maybe we were, we were destined to be on this hammer, so maybe we're something no, similar. No, exactly. Tailor made, 60 degree wedge. Okay. Only really use this as a specialist wedge. Okay. I keep it in my bag for sand and for like when you've really got to get it up and down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but great little wedge. Again, picked up at the uh, one of the local pro shops. Cheap little bargain. I have to admit, like John, I'm not a well-off person. Yeah. Um, I'm very careful with what I buy. I buy a lot of things off eBay, other type or other auction sites are yeah. available, etc. Good quality second hand that you but see around. Yeah. yeah. And it's reflected in the bag as you get into it. It's reflected in the bag. A lot of times if I want to try something, I'll go find a cheap version. Yeah. Try it out. If I really like it, I'll then maybe invest in a slightly more new and more expensive club. Yeah, yeah. If I don't like it, I haven't lost a lot of money. No, that's true. So Hence, I'm going to come yeah. even closer. There so, you go. Right there. <laughs> Noise is awful here today. Go on. It's a very busy course as well. Very busy. Um, so hence, I used to carry other wedges. I had Callaway. Um, I had a couple of Slazengers. Uh, I decided I really wanted to up my wedge game. Yeah. And I was reading up on it and somebody, somebody somewhere said, you know, what if you're using cavity back irons, why aren't you using cavity back wedges? Why okay. are you using bladed wedges? Yeah. Which Made sense to me. Sense, yeah. So I went and saw John at, at Radnor. Yeah. John uh, the owner, He's yeah. the owner, but he also is the runs a shop, runs the shop and yeah. everything. Um, and they've just gone over to stock in Cleveland. Okay. And I looked looked them up online and they got really good reviews for high handicappers like yeah. myself. So I went in, can I try a couple? Yeah, no problem. Take them out, play a few rounds, find a corner and get... beautiful. Okay. Really, really pleased with them. And like the old shaving advert said, I was so impressed, I, I, I bought two of them. Bought two of them yeah. <laughs> Didn't buy the company, but I bought two of them. So I can currently carry, it's the CBX wedge. Okay. It's not the most new one, but really, really nice wedges. It's like I said to John earlier, it's like butter hitting them. Yeah. They're just so nice, forgiving and soft. 52 and a 56. I used to carry uh, a 50 and a 58, and I okay. totally wrong gapping. So I went two decent wedges, 52, 56, 46 pitching wedge, kind of covers yeah, your gaps. Yeah, not bad at all, yeah, good spacing. Um, but yeah, massively improved my wedge game. So definitely worth it's looking at. It's a confidence at. booster, isn't it? Oh, it totally. Be like the brand of, yeah. of choice of everybody. Yeah. It's, it's about what for, we're for it, I ended up, I lost so much confidence in my wedges that for a couple of months, I was pretty much seven iron, nine iron pitch and runs everywhere. Yeah. Very, very rarely took the, took the wedges out because I just lost all confidence. Yeah, if you've got them in these, the bag, you don't use them, what's the point of carrying them around yeah, you? Just these, like had a, to be fair, had a good had a lesson as well, um, which dialed me into what I should be doing, yeah. brought me back, put it with some forgiving wedges, game changer, absolute game changer. Very good. So definitely worth looking into. Uh, right, the clubs. Now, eagle-eyed members amongst you may <laughs> notice a colour than yeah. a certain other. Well, they're probably more likely noticing. Well, one of them noticed the colour, the rest of them noticed he's got covers on them. I got covers on them. Yeah. I know. You can either hate me or love me. Personally, I don't care. To be honest, um, this, this, this debate about this uh, is a joke because the amount of people I know who've got covers is hilarious. Yeah. So many people have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. but you know, and, and I certainly don't feel any less manly by yeah. having them. Even though they're orange. <laughs> yeah, okay. even if they are. Not In fact, they are orange. orange. There's orange there's, covers, there's, if you're going to do it, go the whole hog. Uh, these are Cobras. Okay. They're older Cobras, uh, S2 Max, again, high handicapper, yep. I wanted something with forgiveness. Okay. Um, I was playing, for a while, I was playing one length. Okay. They weren't Cobras, they were uh, another brand of one length. Um, because I, I was really into the idea with one length, it's one stance, it's one position, yeah. it's consistency. And you know, Darren's got Cobra one length and Darren's thrown one of the other Buccaneers and he yeah. really likes them. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's, it's one of those things that 
I think if people get used to it from the start, yeah, it'll work for them, won't it? Yeah. It really will. Yeah. Now I, the one thing I found with one length was, whether it was the clubs or whether it was the one length, fine, up to about seven iron, yeah. obviously, because they're based around the seven iron length. Although I did have mine cut down an inch. Okay. So they were slightly shorter. So they were more sort of nine, nine, eight, rather than the seven okay. length. But I did find, get to your five and your six, I wasn't, there was no yardage gain. No. And then I read up more about it, and that's when they start saying that with the longer, what would be longer clubs, is when you need to have a stronger swing speed sure. to get and the loft you know, working We know the properly. pro that uses these things, and he's got a massively powerful exactly. swing, so it uh, now, makes no difference to him. You know, for me, I don't have a strong swing speed. Sure. In fact, I've slowed my swing speed down okay. on purpose, because I have, I have, still have but it's getting better i leak out right okay sometimes so it can be consistency you slow yeah. it down and try and concentrate more on what you're doing so yeah. you lose a bit of distance yeah but if i can get it on the fairway with a shorter distance gotta be better on it gotta be better gotta yeah. be a shot saver so but at the same time i i looked around and i like the idea of cobras okay. i read up on them they are tend to be a forgiving iron for yeah. higher handicap players. You know, I mean, obviously they have their their forged pro range, but ordinary day to day players, they do do a really good They're range. Good job, yeah. And obviously um, we've got a number of people who play various cobra, whether they be woods or yeah. hybrids or irons like Darren does, um, on the channel. So yeah. they're very popular. So yet again, I do. I'm a, I'm a careful buyer. My wife would maybe disagree and say that <laughs> I'm terrible for spending money, but I do try Everyone and spend it carefully. Uh, again, looked into it. What are, what are the better irons? Went through eBay, what prices am I looking at? This set of irons cost me, I think it's about £100. Bargain. And they're the S2 Max, so they're very forgiving. Yeah, they're older. But the difference for me, the difference between a brand new set and an older set, I'm not going to notice the Doesn't difference. Doesn't make a lot of difference. Not, not yet. And if John's wife is watching, cheap as chips, darling. Obviously, yeah, that was a yeah. bargain. He's £100 for a set of clubs. Oh, you, you, ooh, you don't yeah. get that often. I snap his hand off for Andrew Chris, but I won't tell you. So that's it. The only thing that I do have missing, okay. and it's a, it's a choice, is I don't have a six iron. Okay. I don't bother yeah, yeah. carrying a six iron because I never use it. Right. Five iron, yeah. Seven iron, yeah. Six okay. iron, it's so rare I pull it out the bag. Okay. I thought, well, I'm going to leave it out the bag because it gives me space for something else. Yeah, yeah. But when you're when, when I find after. it. Yep. Um, and again, that's something with with what I'm doing. I'm learning. I'm trying to improve my golf all the time. I I mix things up. I try to change things. Um, I'm currently. I've got a four iron. Yeah. Now this. Okay. This isn't a Cobra, this is actually just a, a cheap Slazenger bought from a, uh, a, a well-known... Well, a sports brand. Yeah, a sport, sports company sports that sends things... very straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they send don't, things... Don't zigzag at all, yeah. go like <laughs> straight there, sports yeah, brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No diversion. <laughs> no diversion at all. Um, again, can hit it nice, can't hit it nice. Good days, bad days. Okay. Well, I think that's a four iron anyway. That's exactly. A, you know. Well, that's the thing. It is the four iron. So, a while ago, I got a, I got a Wilson hybrid. Okay. It's the four hybrid. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I'm mixing between the two. Still I'm unsure, trying yeah, to find, trying to find the one I prefer. Think, think I've come to the conclusion I don't like the hybrid. Okay. So this will be coming out of the bag soon. Okay. Um, and I have, I have something hopefully coming in the post that will replace it, okay. but I'll get onto that in a minute. So that's the hybrid, four long irons. That's one section. Next, we go into the fairway. Well, they're fairway metals these days, aren't okay, they? They're, yeah, they're yeah. not woods, they're yeah, metals, yeah. but I still call them woods. Yep. Um, three and a five, by the way. Three and a five, um, hi highly branded. It's the you can see, yeah. <laughs> but what you are gonna see is, these are also Cobra. Yeah, Cobra, yeah. Um, now, my whole bag, apart from one or two clubs, is Cobra. Darren's gonna love you. 
it, 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 well, the thing is, I did have a real mixed bag before, but yeah. I've slowly, I've slowly found I like the Cobras. So <laughs> bit by bit, thing, you yeah. start picking up things you like. Yeah. Bit by bit, I'm picking up Cobras. I'll try the Cobras first. Yeah. Again, buy a cheap one. Do I like it? This again, brilliantly cheap. It's a five wood. I really like this. Yeah. Um, I got it on a whim. Because okay. I wasn't doing well with the with the hybrid, and I thought, well, maybe I'll try a five fairway wood. Pick this up cheap on anyway. Didn't realise till I bought it. It's actually got a lady shaft in it. Okay. Well, I don't think Great. there's anything. I don't think there's anything. Yeah. Thing. Absolutely brilliant. It plays really well. I've got a slower slower swing speed. Joe, we've got helicopters now, mate. We got it all here. Corridor. We can do everything. Green keepers. We've had the lot. Yeah. So um, <laughs> if you can hear me over the yeah, sound, ambulance, <laughs> yeah, we'll get one of them in a minute. That'll be next. <laughs> then an ice cream van will swiftly follow <laughs> it. Oh, pop in a sailor man going on the back, going on an ice cream van turn up. So we are in a tourist destination, mate. It's quite possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, love this. Got this first. Liked it so much. Rooted around on eBay. Oh look at this, a Cobra S23 wood. Got another one. Okay. Got another one. Another Cobra again. It's older, so it didn't cost me a fortune. Okay. But it's got all the same characteristics. It's run through the Cobra range, especially the Max and the S2 yep. and the S3 range. And don't play it that much, okay. to be honest. Um, mainly because I find I'm so comfortable with the 5. That a, lot, a lot of people say that they prefer a 5 to a 3. Yeah. They actually do better with a 5. Yeah, I mean, I've got it. I think I just need to play it more or maybe take it up the range because I haven't had it that long. Yeah. So it, it's one I think I need to, to, to get work used on. to more. And what's coming in the post shortly is the seven wood version okay. of the five. It's the Cobra one. Um, I think it may even be a ladies one again. It just happened to be there at the yeah, right yeah, price. Yeah. But I'm overhitting at the moment certain holes. I'm hitting this really well, but I'm overhitting it. Okay. Not not happy with not a four hybrid. With a hybrid mate. Not consistent with a four iron. You you've got exactly my issue right I now. I mean people have watched the channel, they go, Yeah. You know, my one seventy distance, I I pull out the hybrid, I duff it. Yeah. When I'm on camera, when I'm not on camera, I I hit them sweet as a nut. Yes, yeah. I hit hit them sweet as a nut, except on camera they went wrong. Yeah. But that's not consistent enough to play yeah. all the time to get confidence no. with. Five wood I'm not that accurate yeah. with, but people have said seven wood. Yeah. Get a seven See wood. I've what I don't get with this is the accuracy. Right. I can get quite a good length on it. Okay. But I just forever hit out of the toe. Okay. Just can't, and I know people say, well, that's not the, the club's fault. No, but it I realise it's my fault. But it's like, okay, I hit this comfortably. I hit this confidently. Let's try the seven wood. Yeah, why not? You know, so these two may even disappear out the back. Yeah, so many people have recommended a seven wood as a heaven wood, which is the Callaway as well. Right. All that kind of. Yeah. Kind. Yeah. Everyone is saying use them, give them a try. Yeah, so, but again, I've gone with Cobra yeah. because I'm so happy with this one. Go with Cobra, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. So this this bag will evolve, it yeah, will change. It will. Like everybody does. Like everybody does. And then of course we get to get to the club that Big everybody job. loves, but everybody really secretly hates because nobody can hit it like they want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Cobra and this okay. was my, I'm not as young as I look. Okay. I know that's hard to believe. I understand that. It's like me, he's had hard life. Yeah, 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 exactly. 50th birthday. Okay. I thought, you know what? I was offered some money from the family and I thought I'm going to put it towards a really nice driver. Yeah. Because I've, again, second-hand drivers, left, right and centre, never had a lot of choice. You got people coming up? No, no, it's all right. right. It's just someone who got decapitated by another bull that went flying that way. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. Another 200 quid for the pot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I went and I went to um, uh, 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 an another store, which is quite well known. Okay. Um, we're probably originally based in the USA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, not the British Gulf one. The other. No, one. the other one. The one, the one across, across the pond. The pond. Yeah. Across exactly. the pond Gulf. Okay. So and I actually got I got a fitting, okay. which is not the full fitting. And and before everyone rants and raves, I know they're not the full fitting. Yeah. But I have to say the across the pond Gulf in Plymouth. Right. Free ad for them. Really nice guys. Okay. They did me a fitting and yeah, really nice, good guys. Really good. Had a good chat. He even gave me some tips on my swing, everything is, else. I think that's important. So, you know, you got to give them a shout. When you get good service from a shop, 
you got to give people a shout. Yeah. It's American um, golf in Plymouth. Yeah, okay, they did exactly. a, they did a good job. If they do a good job, we'll tell them. We'll tell yeah, them about exactly, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and it was more than I wanted to spend, but well, that is kind of what happens with drivers. So happy with it. Yeah. You know, again, I do have this right, right push, which yeah. can be a right slice. Okay. I've got this set at uh, 10.5 plus one, so it's pretty much an 11 and a half yeah, degree. Yeah, yeah. Again, for our handicap, 11 and a half is about right. It's about right. Yeah. They put me in a, a slightly different than standard shaft, uh, just to take into account. They they said their machine was putting me about 85 mile an hour, 85 okay. to 90 mile an hour swing speed. So it's not a senior staff, but it it's a slightly sort of, it's a slightly less stiff regular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, really liking it. When I hit it good, yep. I can get 200 plus which, yards which on our it. Level, that's what we which want. is all I wanted. Yeah. You know. I remember um, you also play a lot of courses where you don't get much more distance no, than that. And I, I don't need a lot than that. Um, and at my at my handicap, I'm not going to get two on the green. No. You know. So it, why it's why try realistic. and aim for two it's just on the green? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Again. Cobra, it's the extreme version. Okay. Uh, not the standard, the extreme one, which that suits is. John. Has I know what John's like, that extreme will suit John. Exactly. It has, used to has John the draw channel, bias. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely love it. Really forgiving. Uh, lovely club to hit. Light. I mean, I've been playing old drivers for ages. Yeah. And I picked this up and went, oh my God, there's no weight to it. What, yeah. What, what happened? Oh, yeah, I was but, always told the thing about drivers is. Unless it's a dramatic difference, you don't change it. You yeah. don't need to change it. You don't have to change it every year unless it's a dramatic difference. Yeah. And it happens every few years, every four years or whatever. Yeah. So if you've been playing an old second hand driver yeah. and you come up to what is now the new thing, yeah. like I said, so much lighter, the dynamics yeah. are so different in them now. Well, it's the same thing. I got the S2, because I was playing the S2 Max clubs, I got the, I ended up getting an S3 driver. Yeah. Re it, it helped my game. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I actually could see the difference, I went, well, hang on, if you can see the difference, th there's something in it. Yeah. And that's why I then said, right. And there's a big I'm, difference between yeah. the modern, very modern one and, and, and a slightly and, modern one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I did take the plunge on that. Um, but that's it. That's, that's me clubs. Okay. That's what I'm currently playing. Um, now, before you go any further, balls, you're changing balls all the time because you're having to go at different I things. Am. You've experimented I'm, with three different ones today. Yeah, I've got... You want to play a ball. I want One to play board, a you? ball. I want to go for consistency. So I've been, I've been playing Strixon for a while. Um, I started off playing Pinnacle a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah. A because they were cheap. Absolutely. But the Pinnacle Soft is supposed to be, uh, well, they're made by Titleist. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a budget but a reasonable quality. Yeah, yeah. Can't get them so easily now. Yeah. Uh, you can get them, but you've got to hunt around a bit. I decided that I'd go for Strixon. Yep. Um, so I started playing with a similar version, the soft feel. Yep. Um, I've now decided, I'm not sure, I've read all about that soft is, I used to think softball spin more. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, maybe a softball spinning more, maybe that less spin will help my right push, etc. Okay. I got schooled on that okay. online by, by one of those experts by one of those yeah, armchair yeah. experts um which somebody didn't like me calling them but we won't go into that um so i've got well okay if that's the case let's try something a bit different i still can't afford and i don't like pro v ones yeah i've actually tried First them choice. okay i found them yeah. but i've found that for me they're too hard yeah yeah um and I don't get the feel off the greens that I it like. Suit your game. With, with me wedges and stuff, yeah. I don't like it. So even Titleist will say they, that's why they've got a dozen different types of ball because yeah. you have to be fitted and exactly. they, certain ones will suit different people. So. And, and they do actually, you know, they do say that Pro V1s are for tall players and very low handicap players because they've got the swing speed yeah. to feel the difference. We've got, got, we've got a few to give away in the golf day, John, so if you win any, I'll make sure you don't have them. I'll, yeah, no, I'll, that's I'll fine. Me. Yeah, right, well, yeah. you know, you obviously, me. when I sweep the board... <laughs> John's taking part in the golf day. Right. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. You, you may want to be paired with me, you may not. Um, but, yeah, so I've got a, I've went out and got some variety packs of golf balls. Okay. All around, all, all looking for the same sort of thing. Bit of soft feel, but a bit of distance. 
Um, not too hard, take bearing in mind, slow swing speed. So at the moment, I've been, I've got the, got some vice. Yep. Today I've been playing with, a little bit with the Pro Plus, and okay. a little bit with the, Pro, these are both Pro Plus, the Pro's in there. Um, like it, they yeah. check up quite nicely on the green. We had a, some of the early shots you'll see. The early from shots here, they rebounded off they the green. They bounded really far. Miles. That's with that was with the AD 33 Tour. Yeah. That's the Schrickson Tour. Um, not so much with the soft feel. No. Um, so I'm I'm still not sure. But yeah. at the moment, I'm probably going to go down the Schrickson route. Okay. Just because the vice balls, even though they're cheaper if you buy them online in bulk. They're still quite expensive. Because you've got to buy a lot. You've got to buy yeah, a lot. So. Yeah. Um, so I really like them. Yeah. And advice, if you're listening, I really like them. Yeah. Um, but, but the other thing is, you're at Rabner, but, and Rabner sell a lot of Strixon. Yeah. In and fact, again, it's, you know, in you fact, have to fact, sometimes. They, there you go. Yeah. They, yeah, they've got their name on them. Yeah. Certain courses will sell a certain amount of certain yeah. types of ball. Yeah. You know. Um, so there's no reason why you yeah. you, know, you can't get Strixon it anywhere yeah. else a lot of places you can get them where your own club is find the club you're that, gonna the find yeah you. and so i mean I, i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna stick with the standard ad333 okay but not fully decided but okay. that's that's me ball and because because i'm high handicapper i've got some in there oh you'll have lots mate i got a load in there yeah yeah <laughs> i've probably got a few in one of these pockets but um yeah. One of, the, one of the club pros once said, oh, I had to borrow, the, borrow a trolley at the, at the shop, and they go, oh, just, I'll put your bag on. They couldn't lift my bag. What yeah. the heck's in it? Uh, mainly about three dozen golf Yeah, balls. exactly. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can lose a lot yeah, on a big course. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, hang, it's a, a tea hanger thingy. Tea hanger um, thingy. I got this because I kept putting holes in me Short yeah, pockets. holes in the pockets. Yeah, yeah. I do that. Um, yeah. Although, so saying that, I still end up with loads of teas in my pocket because. Yeah. But it starts. They always start off nicely full on there. Always ends up with a pocket full of teas. But it, John is dressed casual today because we're on pitch and putt. Yes. Right, we're not here to dress yeah. up as golfers. I'm not. Although okay. I do have my shoes yeah, on. Yeah, you do have proper shoes on. Yeah. yeah proper yeah. shoes on. But they are. Hat. They're the soft shoes. I yeah. can drive in them, so I can turn up, grab my bag, jump out. Yeah. Play twelve. Go home again. Um, but yeah, I'm still wearing my Strix and glove. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how that's how close off the t how off the course we've been. Um, yeah. Some use that does you can tell. Does get used. Really nice. Really soft leather. Okay. Really soft. Um, lovely glove. Don't know what it's going to be like in the rain. Haven't worn it in the rain yet because mm -hmm. luckily Cornwall's well, not. Cornwall, we're doing okay. Right? Yeah, Way we're doing away, okay. Yeah. Um, I may get the chance to try one of the claw gloves. Yeah, if I've got we'll, a few around, I, yeah, I, I we'll, must we'll, I don't we'll know how many I've got. That. I'm going to dig them out this weekend and see yeah. what I've got lying around. Um, but yeah, again, because Radner, most of deals with Cleveland and Srixen, yeah. these just happened. I needed a glove. This is what they gave me. I think that's what happens to a lot of golfers. They're yeah. a club, they use the pro shop. You see, get what they've seriously got. Seriously impressed with that. Again, it's just, it, I mean, it's proper leather, but lovely and soft, really. Yeah. Very grippy as well. Okay. Um, so that that's one glove. I've got a scorecard. Okay. Still got, yeah. a, still got a Radner one in there. Um, pen, pencil. Oh look, another golf another ball. Another golf. <laughs> well, funny enough, yeah. I can, funny I can imagine that. Got, got some cheap sunglasses. Okay. Um, just for those, just for those really sunny days. We do um, get them. This, apart from all the all the balls <laughs> all in good. here. This is interesting. Actually, this is quite interesting. You do interesting. know most golf bags have a ball golf ball pocket. One. Yeah, I know. Pocket. That's that one. Yeah. That, that's that's my <laughs> auxiliary. <laughs> this here, a load of ball markers in there. Keep them separate. John is dealing with bamboo tees at the moment. Yeah, just trying them out. I'm, do I'm doing my own bit for recycling. Okay. These, I've got some plastic tees, but I'm going, I'm going out, I spoke to John, and I'm going over to Wooden Tees. Um, so I'm just trying to use up the old plastic ones, because it's... Yeah, otherwise uh, that would be wrong as Exactly, well, you're, put, you're putting them in, in landfill or whatever, and so, so that you're defeating the object. But what I do have, and what I'm going to do when I get home, 
on a wet Sunday evening. In the autumn, when all the rain, rain comes in the way, in the rain, the rain, in the rain. I just tend to pick up all the leftover broken teas. Yep. Craft knife. Chip a little point on the end. John, so John is a bit of a craft in. person. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. So he, he's skilled at this sort of thing. We've got a little bunch of little mini teas. Because yeah, I play yeah. I play with the tea as on a on one of the other videos I explain it. Even on pitch and putt, I'll play off a tee. Yeah. Just just lifts it just slightly off the ground, just gives you a bit better clearance. Or for me, anyway. Yeah. Some of my friends don't at all, some do. But I only want to lift it off the ground that yeah, much. I was always told so, in lessons play off the tee because it gives you that perfect yeah, um, gives you that height. Yeah, perfect position on the on the ground. Yeah. You know? So yeah, that's that's my way of helping with the environment, being yeah, a little yeah. bit greener. Um Divot, divot tool. Yeah, everyone should have one. Everyone should have one, and not only have one, but use, use one. Use it, yeah, not just carry it around. It's not a that that does fashion statement. Yeah, no, there and and there's a lot of people that don't, and there's yeah. a lot of people that don't at uh, highbrow clubs. Oh yeah, that you would think would. You've only got to see some of the state of the greens, and the greenkeepers put pictures on going to put all the that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, yeah, it's not it's not just those people that come Get and wear and know how to use them. Yeah, it's part of golf. And, and you know, people have this, again, it's a bit like playing pitch and putt. People have this kind of snobbery idea that, oh, can't can't let you on in tracksuit bottoms and hoodies. Oh, what will it be like? Well, get your members to clean up the pitch marks yeah, yeah. and the divots. Don't matter how well they dress, they yeah. can't use, do the golf course properly. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, etiquette works both ways. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, divot marker, great little tool. Um, more rubbish. That's the balls You've in there. You've got rubbish in the bag, in the don't everyone got rubbish in the bag. Yeah, you've got enough feet to sink a battleship. Excellent. Or to float a battleship, actually, with all that. <laughs> oh, another glove. Yeah. Covid white. Yeah, we'll have to have them there. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is nice. Funny little thing. Oh, yeah. Little okay. golf watch. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Don't, I don't wear it as much as I probably ought to. Principally, because I put it in the bag and then totally forget till about halfway around the round you and go, oh, Yeah. Do me right. But again, Sounds a laid-back golfer, aren't they? I'm, I am, yeah. Some say it's too laid-back. No, no, you're quite competitive. Well, you are competitive, but uh, you've got to relax about it as well. Yeah, exactly. But again, really, again, it's quite useful when I wear it. Yeah. To do, we were talking about gapping earlier. Yeah. Um, when you do know what your what your distance is to the tee, not some. I don't need it so much on smaller courses, obviously, but bigger courses, or if you haven't played the courses, great. You know, you can be you can be 200 yards from the tee and you're looking at it going, oh, is that 140? Is that 150? Yeah. Oh, blimey, it's 200 yeah. yards. Guesswork is, is yeah. very different. And, isn't it? And, and it can make the difference between yeah. really struggling to overhit something or going a couple of clubs up and being able to swing easy, swing Pretty nice, easy. Yeah, yeah. and know that you're gonna, you, you've are gonna got a good chance of getting it because you're within that club's distance. So, yeah, great little investment. Again, didn't cost a fortune. Got it off an auction site. Yeah, you know, it's why not? It, 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 it's there, and, and it doesn't have to be expensive. Doesn't have to be the big you brands know. as long as it works. No, and works to our standard. Yes, yeah, some of the big brands yeah. might be desperately accurate to a half an inch or something. Yeah, do but we don't slope rating for that yeah, exactly. And I don't need to worry about slope rating and stuff yeah. like that. You know, if I can't see over the top, it's a tall hill. It's a tall hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which for me, most hills are tall. You know. Don't want to say anything, John. <laughs> well, you know, I'm aware of I'm it. Put, I'm actually dangling this camera down. Yeah, yeah. exactly. More, more rubbish. Okay. Uh, water, waterproof, not waterproof. Weather, wet weather gloves. Yeah. The two pairs I off. Often have wet weather gloves yeah. lying around. Yeah. Really important and really useful. Roll of gaffer tape. Funny enough, I've always got a set of pack of that as well in my bag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mainly because I take cameras for everything. But yeah. I, I have a little. I have a little story. He won't mind me telling it. I won't use his name for the sake of uh, whatever. Um, play, played a course a couple of years ago. Late spring, not great weather. We got halfway round, the sole of his golf shoe fell off. Yeah. He then had to play the rest of the round flopping. He started <laughs> off flopping. By the end of the round, he 
throwing it away and was walking around with just the leather on no, the bottom I've, I've of the shoe. I've never seen that happen, but I do know people who carry extra laces and actually, yeah. it's one of those things you don't think about. No, well you know, unfortunately we were the shit. furthest point from the car park oh, you could get That's when it fell off. And he said, oh has anyone got any tape in their bag? And normally I'm always got rubbish like that yeah. in me bag but this is the one time I didn't have it and after that I've always gone oh, always I've got, got tape in the bag yeah, yeah. so there we go um, waterproof waterproof yeah gonna have me waterproof and yeah Cornwall is a, a wet county it, it, it miserly it, wet 10 county minutes bathroom. one minute it could be chucking it down 10 minutes later it can be too hot and you're taking yeah. it off yeah um, so branded got to give them a good shout out branded Radner, Radner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're very yeah. good at branding. Yeah, um, but it's actually the Sunderland gear, which okay. again, it's very nice gear. Yeah, nice. And they're nice not Sunderland. they're not ex excessively priced. No, I've got you Sunderland know. jumpers and things. They're very good. Yeah, I like them a lot. Um, but it's the short sleeve. Okay. Because I hate I don't hate, but you don't like being I restricted. I don't like being restricted no. at all. I have the same problem. Put I, don't a coat mind, on. I don't mind my arms getting a bit damp. As long as my main core's warm. Yeah. So yeah, when when I when I was looking at what to get, I went, oh, that's pretty good idea. Suits me. Yeah, I might get one of them So it, it it's it's nice nice comfy to wear. Surprisingly warm. It's it's only lightweight, but it's surprisingly yeah. warm once it's on. Um. So there we go. I did I did tell John that I haven't got it in the bag, but I have got a Darren all like this. I have got a nice waterproof jacket. Well, Nigel will if it's orange. Well, well Nigel, Nigel, Nigel yeah. yeah. I can't Sorry. remember if it's Nigel or Darren. That oh, sorry, the Darren orange. loves Cobra, Nigel loves orange. Yeah, which there we tends go. to be Cobra, because, you know. Well, orange. that's the thing at the moment, he's got the Cobra, orange Cobra bag. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think yeah, it is. Yeah. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, I've got lovely orange rain Actually, coat. your size, it'll fit him. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't. Yeah, yeah. so when I meet He'll him. He'll be at the golf day. <laughs> He'll be trading jacket. jackets. <laughs> um, golf towel. Okay. Yeah, bog standard golf towel with a bit of Velcro on that's supposed to clean your clubs. Yeah. But well, all it tends to do is pick up brass. Pick up all the crap on the way around, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's the classic. Uh, this pocket. Oh, How oh there we go. Have got in here? Another jacket. Have you got half your laundry in there, right? Yeah, most of the time. I got another jacket that was. I was wearing this at 6.30 this morning to be fair on Radnor. Yeah, you were, it, you were. You were. You played very early this morning. Yeah, I did get up with, with the crows. But then, dear of my wife, she gets up super early, so. Um, spare set of insoles for me shoes. <laughs> I don't, I'm not saying why he's got <laughs> Random, insoles. very random, uh, just random. Uh, ta random towel, because the last time I played it was raining. Yep. This was covered in mud and yeah, soaked, and I was soaked, and I had enough, nothing. I always got a towel And I went, bag. why don't I put a towel in my bag? Um, I have um, no idea all this stuff would be in this bag. I do apologize everybody, yeah. is there a cup of tea yet? Yeah. I'd have stopped this and made a cup of tea by now. There we go. And, uh, well, that, uh, golf hood, but yeah, there's a pair of woolen gloves in there just for winter. <laughs> just, it's Cornwall, you never know. Yeah. They do say... You're the sort of person who doesn't ever take anything out of his bag, aren't you? You leave it all in there for all seasons. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I used to, when, in my younger days, we used to go to festivals. Yeah, kids won't know about them no, these no. days. Not not with COVID and everything, but <laughs> before they were virtual and online, you used to physically have to turn up. Yeah. And um, I was the only one that went there that had any shorts with any pockets. And by the end of the festival, I was carrying everybody's, everybody's stuff. stuff. I was yeah. the walking handbag. Um, and I've I've always been that way. If I, think, if I think to myself, there's a chance we might need it. It goes in the bag. It's it goes super, in the pockets. Super practical, yeah, but funny enough, I was I'm never in the scouts, but I think I should have been. <laughs> I'd have probably made quite a good scout. Yeah, all prepared, but, yeah, be prepared. You're yeah. Now, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the, bag's, it. the bag's a bit old and scruffy, but it does the job. Oh, I think it's an amazing job to hold that lot. And, uh, it's a yeah. bit stretched. Huh? Yeah, it's, it, yeah, I have had to uh, add an additional yeah. strap, because um, <laughs> the other, there was a handle down here once, but under the weight it broke. I bet it probably did. <laughs> So, so thank you very it. much, Sean. That's that's my uh, oh, very four rambling. hour long my four hour long what's in the bag. I, I was actually going to go over and speak to the greenkeeper bloke and say, um, "Can I just have fifteen minutes for the off?" I'm glad I never now because yeah. he'd, he'd probably have gone for his lunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, back. he might he might he might have uh, or just got sacked for for not doing any work uh, for an hour. <laughs> so this is John Griffiths, Buccaneer, short game, uh, short course player, aficionado. We'll call me aficionado. Short course ambassador. Yeah. For the channel. 
Okay, you'll see him on various videos and uh, thank you very much for wanting to take part and be one of the Buccaneers, John. Great, can't wait, be fun. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, do all that stuff, make comments about, please make comments about John's back. Oh yeah, go for it. Reply. I've and, got uh, very good shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stuff just washes it off. It just washes over it. Um, so, you know, just subscribe, just join, just come and get involved in what we're hoping is a friendliest golf group, golf YouTube channel in the Southwest and beyond. Bye for now, everybody. Bye Keep for soon. now. Oh, I think we'll have a cup of tea, John. Yes, oh. think so. I'm going to sit down now, mate. <laughs>